Welcome, Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind, however, time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it could represent a past, present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon rising and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirit. The answers you need are coming, Gemini energy, and look at the bigger picture, Sagittarius energy. All right, I'm going to read your energy at the top, there's the bottom, but it can be flipped or reversed. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirit. What is to come through for Capricorn in love and in life? What do we need to see, know, and understand about their thoughts, feelings, and intentions toward each other, please, Spirit, for Capricorn? We have the Six of Chalices, the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. In their energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Fool, the Moon, and the Six of Swords. Under here, we have the Knave of Swords. So I feel like this person is definitely watching you. They're definitely keeping tabs on you, Capricorn. Um, you could be watching them too, cross watchers. It can be reversed. But the energy, I feel it's like, I don't feel like it's creepy. I don't feel like this person is like driving by your house. But I feel like the energy that I see is this person, you know, like checking out your Facebook page, your in social media, they're checking out your friends' pages, seeing if you're tagged in any photos. I mean, this person's getting creative. They're trying to figure things out. They, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to spill the beans. This person, they may have walked away from you in the past, but they're back. They're back. And they, they're determined. Okay, they're scared that you're going to reject them, but they want another chance with you, Capricorn. They want another chance. We have courtship here. We have sudden wealth. And under the deck here, we have great fortune. So this person could, you know, be a business owner. They could be a boss. They could work very hard. They could have just came into a settlement or something like that. Or they see your value. They see you, they, they find you a lucky find. They feel like you're a prize to be won. Um, so starting here in your energy, we have the six of cups. So when you think about this person, now this could be an ex, not for all of you. All right. Some of you could be like a past life soulmate. Regardless, you feel a strong connection to this person. Like this person feels like home to you. They feel, they feel comfortable being around this person. It's like, there's a sense of familiarity in it. Even if you like, you just first met this person, like for something about this, it just feels like. You've known them your whole life. It's just like they just. Some of you, now just a handful of you, I want to say there could be a new person who you moved on to and there's an ex that's trying to come back towards you and you're just not interested in this person. That's for some of you. But what I see here, it's like you do think about the good times with this person. Some of you could have been married to this person, could have dated this person in the past, just had a strong connection with this person for some period of time. But this person kind of walked away from you, and now they're chasing. They're chasing, Capricorn. They want to come back towards your energy. I feel like they're even coming in disguised as other people. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, she has the kind of mask up there or head, whatever. So, anywho, it's kind of like they could be having other people... Or other profiles that they've made, okay? Keep tabs on you. So if you're getting any strange friend requests, I would, you know, be a little hesitant there. It's like this person's very curious about you. They want to know what you're doing. Have you, have you moved on? Is there somebody else in the picture here? Some of you, I feel like it could be you. Some of you actually could have moved on to a new energy. Um, uh, chalices, that's water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have some air energy here. It's like... They realize they made a mistake. They're feeling very left out in the cold. And it's like, you don't know. It's like you do. A part of you does miss this person. You miss what you had with this person. But they've also left you out in the cold before. It feels like for some of you, it could have been 
an on and off again kind of thing for quite some time. This person's coming in now. They're like, they see you out in the cold. And they're like, wait a second. I'm back. I did. Oh, I just went to go get milk. That's kind of the energy. It's kind of like you got left on red for months on end. And now they're back out of the blue, out of nowhere, charging back in here. You know, <laughs> like, it's like. This person doesn't want to let you go. I mean, this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's very unexpected. It's kind of taking you aback. It's throwing you off guard. It's like this person appears up out of nowhere. Like, poof, I'm back. What do you mean, where was I? You know, it's like, it's almost like this person avoids the situation. It's kind of like, because, here's what I want to say. It's kind of like this person disappeared on you. They ghosted you. But instead of like owning up to ghosting you, they're just kind of like, Avoiding the topic altogether because I know it's going to create conflict because they're going to have to, you know, have an excuse for the situation. We have the three of pentacles here. It's like you do, a part of you wants to build with them, but you're still very nervous because this person has kind of left you out in the cold. That's earth energy. It's cautious. It's slow. It calculates. It doesn't make any kind of sudden impulsive moves. It thinks things through. You know, you've been left out by this person in the past. Some of you are just, if there's someone new here and you've done moved on to a new energy, it's kind of like you're walking toward this new, beautiful soulmate energy. You don't care you're leaving this person out in the cold. It's it's like, it's over. It's not with, I'm building somewhere else with somebody else. I want to be happy. But for those of you it's who haven't moved on to someone else, I kind of feel like for some of you, it's, you do still want this person. You do still love this person, but they left you confused. They left you cold. They left you empty. You didn't understand the situation. You needed answers. You needed clarity, Gemini energy. You needed to understand the situation. You just felt baffled by it. It didn't seem to make any sense. Now, this person that's coming in here, they're coming in here as this Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They're coming in slow, but they are coming in sincere. I mean, they do want to build something with you. They're, they're putting all of their time, energy, and focus in on you. It's like they're persistently chasing you. Capricorn, I mean, you got your hands full with this one. This one's not going to take no for an answer. They're not going to give up easily. This person, I don't feel like they're going to like stalk you, but I do feel like this person is going to go out of their way to, let me rephrase this. I don't feel like they're stalking you in like a creepy, you should be scared kind of situation. This is just more like this person is really all about you. They really want this with you. It's like, I don't even, it's like some of you could have children with this person. You could definitely be in love with this person. I feel like they're in love with you. Um, this person, you don't know if you want to accept them, but it's like you're so conflicted because what they're showing me is like this person just disappeared out of thin air. It's kind of like I don't think you got any kind of closure or understanding about what happened. It's like there was something beautiful with this person. Now they want to start over with you. They're scared to kind of initiate this, though. You know, the fool is all about taking chances. Aries energy is about taking a risk. But does this fool in this card look excited? No, he looks terrified to me. It's kind of like he wants to invest in this. He wants a new opportunity, but he's fearful of what you're going to say. It's like when he comes towards you, it's taken, or she, it's taken all of their strength to do it. It's like because they don't know how you're going to respond. Pisces, Cancerian energy. They don't know what you're going to say. It's like they want you to look at the bigger picture. We're meant to be together. You know, I let my pride get in the way before. Leo energy but you know I still love you I still love our kids or our family or I want to build with you I want to grow with you I love what we had you know I want to communicate about all this it's like they, they want to tell you what happened it's, it's what I want to say is like the person comes back towards you they're telling you there was a lot of things that you didn't know about why they left it's like it, let me try to say this the way that they're kind of sure. it's, like, it's like when this person comes back they act like nothing happened, but it's like you confront this person because you're still looking for answers. You're still untrusting. You're still hesitant. So they begin to open up to you and it's like hard for them to even admit it. It's hard for them to say like they're scared to tell you what happened. It's like, I don't feel, it's like, it's like this person's being sincere. There's a lot they've been holding back, but they're now they're wanting to tell you, well, this is what happened. Well, I, I, I honestly, I started talking to someone else. I got caught up in that or my job had me relocate or the karmic found out. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like what this person is telling you, it's really, it's scary. It's hard for them to talk to you about it. It's hard for them to like, I want to say man up or woman up and just admit what happened in the past. They're trying to get to a better place with you. Things were difficult for them in the past. This person's very conflicted. They've been thinking a lot about reaching out to you. They feel trapped in their thoughts about you. They want to heal this Sagittarian energy. They want to heal the situation. They want a new opportunity here. This person's being sincere. I feel like they're watching you. They... They're, they're, they're taking extreme lengths. 
I know this sounds so conflicted and so bizarre, but I, just just if it's not your reading, just ignore what I'm saying. It's it's a general. It's only going to resonate for a handful of you, possibly. But what it's like. I don't feel like this person's being creepy or stalkery. And if they are, then this is not your read and you should probably get help for that. Like what I see here, this person, they just, they're asking their friends, hey, can you check out her page again? Or, uh, hey, is he, is he still talking to that girl that you guys work with? Or et cetera, et cetera. It's like they're trying to feel, they want to know what's happening here. They want to know if it's a good time to reapproach you. I feel like they're coming back in and it's like they're chasing you. It's like, this is what you've been wanting. They see you as a lucky find. They're kind of realizing the grass wasn't greener anywhere else. And now they need to realize it's like they have, it's like they have to realize they have to open up now. They're hesitant. They're scared to do it. It's like taking all of their strength, all of their courage. They were prideful before, but now they're having to really humble themselves and come back towards you correctly. This person is like, they're all about you. It's like they realize, it's like it took a major lesson for this person to really see this. All right, Capricorn, this was your reading. Please let me know uh, how you liked it down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.